I've been there a lot in my life, uh, especially before my car accident, my teenage years. Uh, then the first woman I ever loved, we had a big breakup, and that breakup sent me down in depression and suicidal planning. And uh, it's tough to dispense advice to people other than get help. And I'll share why. Because that time in my life, I had so many people coming up to me, you know, my friends would come into my dorm room, and they're like, Brennan, let's go do something. And you just, they're just, the, the hope is lost. And what people, I think, make the mistake of trying to do is hype people up. Everything's gonna be okay, you're gonna be great. The, the most important thing is when you are super down, outside of finding that emotional reasoning for where you are, is to start getting momentum. Because with momentum comes hope, with momentum comes motivation, with momentum comes uh, 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 you know that feeling that there's a reason for tomorrow. And so it's as simple as just saying, okay, what are three things I'm gonna do today? Dude, sometimes that first goal is, sh I'm gonna shower today. I'm really gonna shower today. Uh, I'm gonna walk to the library. And I'm gonna come home. And that's all they got. Like literally, that's all they got. And you gotta honor that struggle when you're in that place. Like know that where you're at, it is okay that you're there. And now you're gonna need help. And now you're gonna have to set up some daily practices just every day, win a little bit. Not like win your dreams, not like crush through goals, not like be a badass, not like, no. Just momentum, man. Gloomy and bad, dark days, trust that those are going to be there. They'll get less and less and less as you learn how to cope, but they're gonna be there. And so when they're there, it's one of the, my, I mean, outside of teaching people to bring the joy in my life, I teach people to honor the struggle. Honor the difficulty. When we honor the struggle instead of hate the struggle, we can really achieve extraordinary things because our mindset's in the right place. In your hands this very moment is your journey. The journey that allows you to be someone fueled by your potential. Take the risks that allow you to become something more, that allow you to change your view on life, that allow you to look through a different pair of eyes, one that grants you the power to see something and to know how to change it, to look at life as an opportunity, an opportunity to feel like somebody new, someone with the potential that can keep moving forward. Set yourself your own rules. <laughs> like, why play by someone else's rules when you can set rules that help you become the best version of yourself? Rules that don't hold you back, but rules that pull you forward. Be grateful for the position you're in and be grateful for the chance to give it one more go. This opportunity could be wasted, but being here gives you the drive to put in the effort for your future. You see so many people um, stuck in the same routine and they hate it. They hate it. They're not happy in their life. They're not happy with their, with their, uh, whatever they're doing, you know. And, 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 and if you want advice from me, if that's your life right now, go find something else. Just, just, just try, try something else out. You know, if, if you're miserable in your life and and uh, I've actually been miserable. People, people can be miserable, even though they have everything, you know. You, you see super successful people in life, and you think there's no way they are miserable. But, but, but that's, that's not the case, you know. Even though you are successful and you're doing well, you can still have bad days. I have gone through some very difficult times to be honest with you and lately in the last two or three years I've been going through some very hard times some very very hard times and I haven't been very open about that um, yeah it's been very tough for me I um, I had to deal with some 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 difficult things that I, I couldn't control. Um, and that's life. 
like I'm human like everyone else I have feelings I go through hardships like everyone else and um, sometimes you you're put into difficult positions and that's life it's very unfair I think the more things are talked about the more comfortable we are and the more we can understand them uh, when I woke up one morning and saw that in a tweet that Prince Harry came out talking about his depression, it made me really happy. Because I've been places and someone has said, well, you lost an arm and a leg, so you had a right to be depressed, and I stopped him. I was like, depression is real. You don't, you don't even have to go through something traumatic. Some are caused by you know, something traumatic. Some can be a, a chemical imbalance in the brain. And I feel like if you had heart problems and saw a cardiologist, well, Everyone would be concerned about you. Would know you're doing better, and it would be open and honest with the crew, anybody you no work stigma, with. Not yeah, weird. but the most complicated organ in your body. If you have a problem with it, suddenly there's a. We don't want to talk about that. No, and you can get over it, and that's what people need to realize. You can be cured. You can get past it. Today is your day to tell your story, to speak your mind to tell the truth about your future, to speak about the power you've always had, the potential you've always had. This is how you succeed. You will be your power. You have this power. Communicate your problems. Communicate the power you know that you have. This is the beginning of your power, the start of your progress. Take every day as an opportunity to be better every day to have the power to try something new, to become something new. This is where your progress can be kick-started. Accelerate your life into your direction. Now isn't the time to wait. Now isn't the time to waste. Let this be the power that takes you towards your success. This is the opportunity you've earned. This is the potential you've always had. Step out of the crowd and step into your success. I would lay in my bed and just want to die. I just, I didn't want to exist. I wanted an anesthesiologist to come and give me a shot so like my soul would just And um, at the time I was in a belief system where there was an afterlife. And so that wasn't possible. You couldn't get, you couldn't be gone. You were around forever, no matter what you did. And in fact, if you took your life, you would, you're not behaving in a way that this belief system and you know, reward you. And so I was trapped in existence. And it was the worst feeling in the entire world because I had no out. But not only that, I had two kids. So I had, a, you know, like, I felt responsible for being a father. And so I was building Braintree and, uh, you know, I had challenges at home with my significant other. And I had kids who weren't sleeping. I was sleeping myself 24 7, having companies break and, like, all the pressure. And it just drove me into the ground to a point I just, I was just delirious. I mean, I was, I was broke. Um, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro at the tail end of the situation. And um, I got sick, I got a the stomach virus. And like three or four days in, I had the virus for a couple days. Plus I was, out, I was sick with altitude sickness. And I just felt terrible like the worst I've ever felt. And we got to base camp and we were 15,000 something and I had to make a decision where I was gonna to climb to the top the next morning. And I thought, let's do it. I'm not gonna back down from this. And so I did it and um, the, that four hours to the summit changed my life where um, the mountain became my problem. And it became a representation of my life. and. Um, I started listening to uh, Eminem, my favorite artist, and um, his, um, his defiance against uh, problems. Anyways, I, um, I made it to the top and I uh, just broke down and cried. And it was like, uh, it was, the mountain was my depression, it was my marriage. It was my belief system, and um, I went home and I was changed. 
um, I sold I, I sold my company shortly after Braintree. I got a divorce. I left my religion. And I was back at my 21 year old age and I said, who am I? Like what, how do I rewrite myself from scratch? What do I care about? What matters? What exists? What's true? What's not true? All of them.